and welcome to Metha Care. Without wasting time, let us start with the questions. The first question is In the Newman projection of 2 to dimethylbutane, we have to find out the group X and Y. So, first, if we draw the structure, the 2 to dimethylbutane. it will be this one also do the numberings 1 2 3 4 so you can see here in this question in the Newman projection already you know in Newman projection the front carbon is represented by this dot and the rear side carbon is represented by a circle so you can see the rear side carbon already contains two methyl group that means the rear side carbon in this case is carbon number two but the question is which one is the front carbon carbon three or carbon one so if you consider carbon three as a front carbon if you consider carbon three and carbon three contains a methyl group and two hydrogens see it already contains two hydrogens and one methyl but you if you see the options methyl is not there that means carbon 3 is not the front carbon so carbon 1 is the front carbon so carbon 1 contains three hydrogen so x it will be hydrogen atom now what about y so y it is on the carbon 2 the carbon 2 already contains two methyl and another group that is ethyl group so why it will be ethyl group so the correct answer in this case will be 2 let's see the second question it is very important question you can solve this question in different ways firstly you can find out the rs configuration of these two carbon and you can get the answer but here we will do in a different way that is called group exchange method what is group exchange method what we will do we will take one structure as a fixed structure and we will do some operations in the other structure so what i will do i will exchange the groups positions fluorine and iodine so take this fluorine here and iodine this is called exchange of groups so the new structure that you will get is in this position it will be iodine here it is fluorine chlorine and the rear side we have bromine again will do the same operations with iodine and chlorine so exchange of groups between iodine and chlorine then the structure that we will get chlorine here in this position we will get iodine and here we will get bromine now if you see the structure that we are getting here it is identical with the structure one that means after even number of exchange we are getting the identical structure so this compound are homomers so remember one thing if we do even exchange of groups then the configuration of the carbon is retained there will be retention of configuration if we do odd exchange of groups in asymmetric carbon then the configuration changes so then inversion of configuration takes place i hope it is clear to you if you want more clear concept of this topic you can watch my videos in this channel okay next 
go to the third question this question is also very important how many studio isomers of the following compounds are possible so to solve this you have to find out the number of stereo centers stereo centers what are stereo centers so stereo centers are generally carbons having four different groups and sometimes double bond which can show geometrical isomerism are considered as stereo centers so in this question we have three stereo centers this double bond will also we have to consider it as stereo center now the number of stereo centers we are getting is 3 so the number of stereo isomers will be 2 to the power 3 that is 8 the answer will be 8 move to the fourth question that is very important question so what is correct order of heat of hydrogenation hydrogenation so let us first see the concept of this question hydrogenation reaction suppose you have a double bond and you add hydrogen to this molecule if you add hydrogen to this molecule you will get alkene and along with you will get heat as bonds are forming that's why we get heat in this reaction and that heat is called heat of hydrogenation so this reaction this hydrogenation reaction is exothermic in nature so if you draw the energy profile diagram of exothermic reaction one side potential energy and other side reaction coordinator progress of reaction so here is reactant and this is product as this is exothermic reactions so energy of product will be less than energy of reactant and the energy gap between the reactant and the product that is called the heat of reaction that is heat of hydrogenation in this case now you see if the reactants are unstable that means more potential energy then the heat of hydrogenation will be more so simply you can say that heat of hydrogenation is inversely proportional to stability of alkene So heat of hydrogenation is inversely proportional to stability of alkene. Now stability of alkene we can get just seeing the hyperconjugating structures. So here 3, 3, 2, 8 hyperconjugating structures are possible. In this case 4 hyperconjugating structures are possible. In this case 2 hyperconjugating structures are possible and here five hyperconjugating structures are possible so as you can see the structure 3 is the least stable structure so it will give you more heat on hydrogenation so the order of heat of hydrogenation will be 3 2 4 and 1 so this is the correct answer i hope the concept is clear to you Next, see the question number 5. In which of the following compound tautomerism takes place? So, as you know, tautomerism takes place if we have 
एनोलाइजेबल एच एनोलाइजेबल हाइड्रोजन एटम इफ यू हैव इन अ कंपाउंड देन इट विल टोटोमोलाइज एनोलाइजेबल एच इज जनरली अल्फा हाइड्रोजेंस नाउ इफ यू सी द स्ट्रक्चर वन इन स्ट्रक्चर वन यू हैव हाइड्रोजन एटम इन दिस पोजिशन बट दिस हाइड्रोजन इज नॉट एनोलाइजेबल इफ यू ट्राई टू ड्रॉ द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एनोल देन यू विल गेट दिस वन नाउ हियर वन इंपॉर्टेंट रूल्स कम्स The rule is Brett's rule. Brett's rule says that you cannot place double bond at the bridge head position. So these are bridge head positions. So you cannot place double bond at the bridge head position. That means compound one it contains alpha hydrogen, but that hydrogen is not enolizable. You will not get enol. So this is not the answer. If you see the option three, option three, aldehyde groups are there, but no alpha hydrogen, so it will be, it will also not be the answer. Option four, there are no such functional groups which can tautomerize, so option four is also ruled out. So the correct answer here we have option two, but you can see in option two it is already given in the enolic form, not in the keto form. so this is the in and this is all so already it is given in the enolic form so what do we have to do we have to draw the keto form of this structure so it is tautomerized with this groups so already enolic form is given so we can draw the keto form so the correct answer the tautomerism can be possible in structure 2 i hope this entire concept is very very clear to you so that's all for today thank you very much for watching this video if you want want me to discuss more questions like this please comment below and also hit the subscribe button this is mridul ahmed signing off